Hey everyone, Marcel here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Guys, today I'm gonna show you how I've been making this delicious Greek or Mediterranean inspired omelet uh, with just a handful of ingredients and an easy tzatziki sauce to go with it. Um, I've been loving this recipe. Uh, it's low carb, it's nutritious, and um, even if you don't care about the carb content, it is delicious. So. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead, turn you around. I'm gonna show you the ingredients for both the omelet and the easy tzatziki sauce. Let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be making a two egg omelet for myself today. Um, these are two large eggs, which here shortly I'm going to scramble up in this bowl. Um, to my scrambled eggs in the skillet, I'm gonna be adding a generous third cup of some crumbled feta cheese. Um, you know, change the ingredients to your liking. If you want more feta, add more. If you want a little bit less, use a little bit less. Um, here I have eight grape tomatoes that I've sliced in half. And then here, a generous third cup of just some coarsely chopped, you know, white onion. I normally prefer to use red onion. I'm just out at the moment. So I'm using what I have on hand. And then here I have a generous three teaspoons of just some regular black salad olives. Um, I don't have Kalamata olives, but feel free to sub those in if you have them in your pantry or in your refrigerator. I'm also gonna be adding a pinch of homemade Greek seasoning, which I need to replenish pretty soon. Um, I shared about this seasoning blend, gosh, it might even be coming up on two years ago, and I will link that for you if you want to make this and use it. Um, Otherwise, if you have no interest in making Greek seasoning, just sub in about a half teaspoon of some dried oregano. And then of course, you're gonna need salt and pepper. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, I have the ingredients here. I'm going to put the easy tzatziki together and I'm gonna show you that as I do it. Okay guys, so for our easy tzatziki, um, I have here one cup of plain Greek yogurt. Okay, I'm using the zero fat version today. Gonna be adding a little bit of dill, a little bit of garlic powder, a good squeeze of lemon, and then about a half cup of some shredded English cucumber, which I have had uh, draining on paper towels for just a little while, just to get some of the liquid out. Um, so that's just a tip on how to prepare those. Once you get your cucumber grated, let them drain out on some paper towels, and you can see how much moisture has um, has been redistributed into the paper towels here. So they do they do pack a lot of moisture. But all right guys, let's get this easy tzatziki sit, put together first. Let's, let's get cooking. Okay guys, so now we're over here at the stove top and what we're gonna do first is I am actually gonna saute the sliced grape tomatoes and onions for just a minute or two um, in some olive oil. So I'm heating up my skillet now to about medium heat and it's getting pretty warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and input just about a, a tablespoon. Don't need a whole lot of um, olive oil in the skillet. And when it comes to temperature, I'm just gonna saute the veggies for just a moment and then we're gonna move on into the next phase and get the eggs in the skillet.
Okay, so now I'm just going to very, very carefully wipe the skillet out. Um, just to put more oil in it. <laughs> okay guys, so now I've wiped the skillet down. I've let it cool for just a minute down to a good medium heat. Now I'm using some olive oil cooking spray. Um, feel free to use, um, you know, butter or regular olive oil. Uh, and then I'm going to add my eggs to the skillet now. These are just like two large eggs that have been scrambled. Put them in, and we're just going to let them fill up the skillet. Um, you can kind of tilt the skillet; just make sure it kind of covers the bottom, like that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and season with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of this Greek seasoning. Just about a half teaspoon. All right, so you can see it starts to cook very quickly. If you have any of this liquidy stuff, you can just kind of move it and it will come right off there. Uh, but it's getting to a point where it's pretty set up pretty fast, cooking this in real time. I haven't stopped it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my tomatoes and onions and fill up on one side. Okay, just kind of put them in there. Then I'm gonna go in with my olives. Oh, one little one little deserter in there. And then the feta. And I love feta guys. I could like eat it with a spoon. Alright, so then we're just gonna flip it. We're just gonna fold it together like that. Alright, so I'm just letting it sit. It's gonna get heated through I mean literally for just 30 to 60 seconds. I can already see the cheese melting on the side. And so make sure you've got a plate handy. And then we're just going to turn the camera so you can see. I'm just gonna let it slide onto the plate. All right, delicious and nutritious. All right guys, so here's my gorgeous smelling Greek omelet. And so what I'm gonna do now, just to garnish it a little bit, you eat with your eyes first, guys. So just gonna take a little bit extra of that Greek seasoning, just go right over the top. And then just another, just another little sprinkle of feta. I mean, why not, right? And then I'm gonna take some of the homemade tzatziki, put it right on the side. And just for some color and a little crunch, I've got some cucumber slices. So, all right, there we go. Yum, yum. Lunch time for me. Okay guys, well thank you so much for coming on into my kitchen and letting me show you how I've been making this delicious Greek omelet with the easy tzatziki sauce. Um, you know, even if you don't want to make an omelet, you could do this also as like an egg scramble. You know, just scramble the eggs and then put the ingredients in along with it. Um, but anyhow guys, I hope you enjoy this recipe. I hope you enjoy the easy tzatziki sauce. Um, would also be good for homo gyros or you know greek inspired casseroles or anything um, you can think of so all right guys thanks again for joining me take care out there stay cool and i will see you real soon in the next video